again. Today we are going to learn how to make alkaline dumplings or zongzi. There are two types of dumpling. One is a savory with meat and this is the sweet dumpling which is made from alkaline water or lye water. The main ingredient is glutinous rice or sticky rice. Let's go and see how to make this alkaline dumpling or ki zhang. Ki means lye water, zhang is a dumpling. Let's get started. We do all the preparation work the night before. We use dried bamboo leaf this time. Previously in Malaysia, we used to collect our own fresh bamboo leaves. In the basin, soak the bamboo leaves in hot or warm water. You probably need to do it bit by bit. You will need about 50 to 60 leaves. Make sure the leaves are submerged in the water. Place a heavy object on the leaves. Next, we prepare the hem or twine. Since I do not have hem or twine, I'm using regular strings. The length of the string for each dumpling is 36 inches or 90 cm and we double that. The strings are now laid on the table with the center on one side and then we bring it together. To make a loop, in the center of the string, grab 22 to 25 cm. With both hands, twist the center several times or you can actually braid it. Bring your two hands together to form a loop and make a simple knot. Now we have a bunch of strings with loop for hanging. The loop is necessary for us to tie the dumplings neatly. We can hang the strings by using bamboo sticks, chopsticks or hooks. We will need about 3 of these. For the rice, we need 500 grams of glutinous rice or sticky rice. If you like, you can remove the non-glutinous grains. Rinse until the water runs clear and then drain. You will need to rinse it several times. Put the rice in a container and soak the rice in water to about 3 cm above the rice level. Add in the alkaline water and borax. Give it a good stir and leave the rice to soak for 4 hours or overnight. The next day. Rinse the leaf several times and wipe it if you wish. Then drain on a colander. Drain the rice and rinse it once. Now we are ready to wrap the dumplings. I'm hanging the strings with a hook like the ones that I use for my mugs and cups. If you don't have a hook, you probably need a stick pushed into the loop of the string and in between two stools or chairs. Place two leaves on top of each other on the opposite. Make a cone in the center by bringing the two sides of the leaves together. Place two tablespoons of rice into the cone. The cone should not be more than two thirds full. Then bring the top over the cone, like a cap. Slide your fingers over the side of the top and meet at the center and then fold the leaves. Secure the dumplings with the string and it should look like a pyramid. If you can hear the rattling, you have packed the dumplings correctly. Okay, let's do it one more time to be clear. Place two leaves on the opposite and bring the center together to form a cone. Place two tablespoons of rice into the cone. Fold over the top leaves. Slide your fingers and thumb on the cap and bring it to the center and then fold the leaves to one side. Secure with a string with two rounds and then tie a knot. It is easier said than done, so you really got to try and practice it. Ta-da! We got it! 
This is a bunch of tan and we are ready to cook it. Bring 3 litres of water to the boil and then add in 3 teaspoons of alkaline water and 2 teaspoons of borax. Give it a stir and then add in the dumplings, bunch by bunch. Make sure the dumplings are fully immersed in the water. You may add a bit of water if required. Boil for 2 to 3 hours. Remember to top up with boiling water if necessary. After 1 to 1 and a half hours. To ensure even cooking, you'll need to turn the dumplings once or twice during the cooking. To rotate the dumplings, remove the dumplings from the pot and place it back in the reverse order. The top bunch goes to the bottom and the bottom bunch goes to the top. After 2-3 to three hours, carefully remove the dumplings from the pot and place it in a basin. Then hang it on the hook to drip dry. Make sure to put a tray beneath it to catch the drips. To make the sauce, we need 300 grams of palm sugar. Chop or grate the palm sugar. Put the sugar into a small pot. Add a cup of water or 250 ml into the pot. Tear the pandan leaves into strips. Fold it twice and make a knot. Pop it into the pot and bring to the boil. Simmer on medium to low heat until it's thickened. It should lightly coat the back of the spoon. You can make it a bit thicker if you wish but it will crystallize in a few days. Cool and strain the syrup. Decant into sterilized jars. The dumplings are ready to be served. The dumpling is yellow color due to the alkaline water. Here is the bunch of it. This recipe makes about 25 depending on the size. We normally serve the dumplings or chang with palm sugar. So here are the dumplings that has been done and let's take a closer look. We're serving it with palm sugar and you can also serve it with honey or your favourite jam. You can serve it with Malaysian Sri Kaya which is coconut curd and it tastes just as lovely. Worst come to the worst, if you haven't made any sauce and you run out of jam, you can also dip it in sugar. Let's try. Mmm, that's nice. So, I hope you enjoy watching me making the dumplings or the alkaline dumpling. If you find value in my videos, please don't forget to click like and hit the subscribe button and you could do a special super thanks for me and I'll appreciate it. I'm Loretta Lee, Nonya Recipe. Nonya Recipe is a fine place for fabulous food and I share with you my food journey. So until the next time, until the next round, yummy, 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 yummy. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.